is down in lower dark. And that is a huge problem for Astralis in a bunch of different ways. Oh, he only just jumped up. I need to see that. Dude, that's gross. <laughs> He's such a monster. This here for Furia, but they'll take the win regardless. They retain the double ops as well, which is the most important piece of the oh. puzzle for them. But oh my god, Nico just wrote That's art. A weird word to say, but uh, it would be very unfortunate. We'll put it that way for G2 if they were to lose against what's, what is essentially a, a Nico. Shot comes in. There's it. Makes over the top. Oh no way! Dupree sets it up. Takes Nexa as well. One on three now. Nico. He is stuck on the B site, and he is boxed in. No more options. Device has picked up an M4. He's got Kevlar as well. And they have plenty of time for that smoke to clear and move in together here. Astralis going into the retake. They have that one flashbang as well. I don't know if they want to use it or just find him straight away. No kits uh, for obvious reasons. And, yeah, they're, I think they're hoping to see him somewhere. That's the only thing is the element of surprise. Maybe get one quick kill. That's going to be the headshot. Yeah, he's being just into that corner push all the time. He's going to get one more. Oh, tapping away. What a genius one versus three from Nico yet again. Oh, man. Heart attack for Astralis there. It definitely was. But spraying down with that M4A1, it's just not quick enough, is it? Nico, he wasn't spotted now. They need to think here. Nico dropping down the vent. Oh man, taking out Glaive and from a one on three into a one on one, he's gonna try and go for it. Do it again. Just one more shot will absolutely do it. And Device, he's just got the AWP up there. If he misses a shot, I mean, Nico's got all the space in the world. He's out. Device down on the low ground. He's got the gun out instead. And Nico! One versus three. And he clutches it for his team. Absolutely. What a god. Just ice water, man. The, the USPs as well. You gotta credit everybody there. Great teamwork. Look what this nets them. Double Deagle between Magisk and Zipnix immediately. Gonna be sprinting out long A, Nico. He's got himself three kills. Shuts down everybody that managed to get out from the doorway. Sends the frag soaring and sends Astralis spiraling back into mid. Get completely wrecked in the following round. That's kind of hard to deal with. Grenade and device. We'll make it up for all of a second. Nico with a nice ace. It's all against Glocks, but it doesn't matter. You do not want to get this guy fired up, do you? Those are the feel-good frags. Nico, he's going to thrive in this sort of scenario. Kenny helping out as well. Of course, there's a few of the body shots on those guys. and. Hunter knows that his teammates are still a bit further back. Dupree safe or not. His rumpus sticks out around the side of the bomb plant, gets easily picked up, and then Nico catching a kill on the back of the site. Now it's Glaive and Device who have to somehow get back into this. Astralis look a bit off right now. Right? That plant was a bit strange. Surprised to see that. Hunter so patient, but the barrel of the M4 could really screw him over. Sure enough, the ump going to get the better angle. 22 health left on device after that. Aminek goes down for free. And Nico, who has opened a couple of rounds already for G2, is going to have to close this fifth one. He's already above the bomb. They've got a smoke and a flash. And they could just go side by side. But instead, one from double doors and one on control. He cuts down the first, sees the second. Device peeking, toying with the idea of it. Oh, the crouching crab walk kill to give G2 their fourth. Just nasty. Another. Flashbangs out. And Hunter getting caught. He by that E-box. Nico, not so stressed, tapping. Peacefully almost away. Nice headshot at the end. The quad kill. Just some warm up type practice for him, really. Yeah. Nico's smoke will deny him vision, but oh, the crawl out from Zipex as Glaive lines up the kill through smoke. Nico sees the man in the rafters, tapping for it, gets the spray down. Glaive with a slight health advantage. But Nico's gonna fall back, taking further damage, faking the plant once and coming back out for the kill. Oh my god, he's walking up the left. This is going to be hard to read. Glaive knows what's about to happen. Oh, but he can't stop shot. it. Damn. Damn. Dude. Well, that's kind of exactly the round I expected, but not the outcome that I expected. Glaive got that info early. P2 tried to throw a fake outside with the smokes to go somewhere else. And a, a huge clutch. I mean, the, the trades outside were nice. 
Always a precarious spot when the Opera uh -oh. gets a kill and falls back. Nico, he spotted? Yep. And they're going to try and chase him down, but all oh, oh. the crispness of Jesus. the M4. He's going to dodge that frag grenade for the most part. Another Nico head. with another. Four versus two. That flashbang from Kenny S and his one op kill tucked the tail of Astralis right into Nico. His 16th frag, then and there versus Device. Eight seconds on the clock as Glaive's gonna have to gun down Nexa or just desperately try for the plant, but he'll get neither of the two. We're gonna have Kenny S tested. Pop on cross, and Nico goes running inwards, lines up two players, he even sprays into the third. He could do more damage, but the gun goes dry. Device with the op answers. Three round lead for Astralis. Molotov meant to interrupt the smokes. Hunter quick on the heels of Glaive, but Magisk sprays into Hunter. Nexa trades this out from Hut, hits the dink, and that should be that. But Magisk surviving longer than he has any business doing so. Nico has to eject. What is this round from Magisk? They fluffed it in an insane hold. It was an op on Nico, I believe, that comes out from Hut and just can't quite catch that kill. There's, there are, it's literally a 1v2 with, with, with scoped guns. Nico, oh, free frag. One-on-one -on -one situation. Opportunity to drop vent. You know he wants to. You know he's thinking about it. But instead he'll wait. Oh, damn. This is where it gets spicy. This is where it gets very interesting. Let's see how the brain of Zipix will work. Oh, man. I actually love this position because he can camp the vent drop if that becomes the late game situation. And also can hold down upstairs from a very powerful spot. Sure. And now he'll move around. Not going to be able to drop onto Hut without making inf making noise. And the last thing anybody wants to do right now is be the first one to give up information. So he's going to try to take a gamble and read that it's a walkthrough into upstairs. And he's got scout in hand. Yep. Don't tell me he reads this correctly. Nico is actually pushing out, but it's got to be the vent drop, right? Yeah, yep. okay. Oh, and that decision right there could make the difference. Yeah. You've got the top fragger of G2 versus the bottom scoreboard dweller of Astralis, Zipex. He's got a 1v2 under his belt already this map, but that's one third of his total kills on Nuke. Okay. He so. swaps over to the ump, drops down into the vents. Nico knows this. Look at this angle. He peeks. Oh my goodness. Nico with the gall <laughs> to go for the fight. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Flabbergasted. That's that way, I mean, it's still, still hard to judge. Yeah, half by coming in from Astral, I think that makes a lot of sense. The bomb plan, I mean, they could have all bought armor and AK and then nothing else. So they would have had zero grenades pretty much across the board. And as much fun as that could be in a matchmaking game, it's not that great in, a, in an actual professional game. Lining up for Nico, he's already had one ace. Don't give him more. I just don't think that's necessary. Well, it won't be this time. I guess Kenny's taken one of them there. And Glaive does not have the bomb. Would have been a nice little tricky thing. You'll get the quad anyway, so certainly adding to the stats. Nico, the Eco Cobra! Yeah, nine out of the 15 kills that he has so far are uh, just from, you know, yeah. loosely, loosely armor target. Just, uh, you know, listen, they, they wanted to ease him in. There's. They're, they're giving them all the feel-good frags.